guys welcome back to my channel my name is Caroline and on this episode I'm gonna teach you how to make a very easy DIY carpet or mat or a rug it's so easy with just a handful of supplies I made one simple rug from scratch and you can do it yourself so stay tuned give me that subscription give me that like share this video let's get started about this episode because it's so easy I'm going to show you a very very simple technique for you simple step-by-step -step instructions on how to make a simple rug for your bathroom for your kitchen even a larger rug for your sitting area and what you need is just a pair of scissors like this you'll need this to cut your yarn into small pieces you can have this already cut but I prefer you have it in whole so that you can measure the, the size you want for your for your rug it can be larger or you want the simple neat uh, size so that's why it's good you cut your own yarn but you can have the one that I already cut in simple or equal sizes so on top of that you'll need your marker pen to mark the patterns that you want on your uh, mat and then of course you'll need a latch hook it opens and closes it has a simple latch you can see which opens and closes and then on top of that of course you'll need your tapestry or your mat canvas where you'll do your pattern so I have uh, this simple one I'm doing for my kitchen or your bathroom it doesn't matter what you're gonna do as long as you have your pattern you're good to go so it's so so simple so guys let's get started it's good to start uh, with something simple so the first thing you need to do is determine the size of the rug you want I love making these hand woven carpets because it's so so easy to make and when you start with something simple you can make it at home even for the pattern just start with something simple and then that's it so to cut our yarn what we do is we put it in our hand and then you use three fingers one two three and then you put your thread around your fingers like this you can put as much as you want yeah make sure you, your fingers are loosely together not so tight so you put as much as you want like this side you let it go and then you cut and then you turn the thread again and then you make sure this side and this side is equal and then you just cut at the center like this there you go you have your equal yarn here you repeat the process like that three fingers like that making hand woven rugs is a perfect DIY for you because it's so so simple to know and you'll see why so you have your yarn ready like this so you put it on your canvas as to fall you determine the size of the rug you want two pieces of uh, thread so what you do is you pick one and then you you uh, put it like this you can see into half like this this is one so what you do is you just uh, put it like this and then this part is when what you'll hook inside so what we normally do is we skip two one two and then you do the third section like here so you the part where it's like this you put it in and then you put this part inside and then you pull like that that's how you do it you're gonna do another one for you to see Maybe we can do somewhere that is uh, open so we'll skip those so that you can see so what you do you lift your 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 canvas like this so you skip two one two so on this one is where you go in when your latch is closed like this you just open it so when it's open 
you go inside like that the one section and then you hook your thread like this when it goes under uh, you open your latch hook that's where you you catch the two ends of the thread like this and then when you've, uh, you've got them you go you pull your hook like this straight towards you you can do that again so the first step is you do like this you can see to your thread like this so when you hold the ends like this at the end like this so you open your latch hook you go to the section you lift up your your canvas you go to the section you want to go in to work on so it goes out completely the crochet you can see it's open that's why you'll catch the thread like this you hook and then you put it under that section and then when you come out like this that's when you'll catch the thread again and you put them inside the latch hook then you pull it the thread towards you it's a very very simple technique for you to master and what you basically you do is you keep repeating the steps until you've completely covered the netting pieces all over or the, the pieces that you've cut all over when they're over you cut again and you you don't skip any section so you go in every section so I prefer you start from one side like this going like this and then you finish you come to the second line like that so we we'll repeat the process again for you so you hold the thread like this at the end like this this is the thread so this is the part where you hold your thread like this this is a crochet you continue like a line don't skip any section so you you go inside the section that you want you put your crochet inside and you hook that part you go under and then when you go up you also catch the thread again and then you pull the crochet towards you it's so simple like that you can see the pattern it makes so look at this amazing So you don't skip any section so we'll keep repeating this once you master actually you can do it when you're watching your TV you're watching your favorite program it's a very very nice DIY for you to do especially you when you come from work and you want to do something satisfying really amazing. this section you go in like that you you hook it it goes under when it open you put the thread there you catch them like this and then you just pull towards you it's a very so simple 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 procedure so you hook you go in you put it on the side then you pull Keep repeating this process until you've covered the whole section so you'll be able to feel each section like this section each section and you have something like this you can see it's amazing it's so beautiful you can put any color any design but what you do is you start with any pattern what i did with this is just circles I just draw simple circles like this like that and you just follow like that just 
draw simple circles like that and you just follow them simple simple designs for you simple simple design you can see So you can decide either to put on this part white or blue so the for me I've done white inside and then blue is the one on the outside so we're gonna put uh, some white inside these places where we've drawn so that you can see how to do it see it's very easy you just do the part where you've you've colored like that remember like that you hold it at the end you go in like this you hook like this hook it see when it's closed like this you just open and then you just hook you go in like this open Put this it closes when it goes under like that and you pull towards you it's that simple and you keep repeating the process you finish your beautiful mat you're gonna love it you're gonna love the patterns it's so so easy and you're gonna enjoy what you're doing yeah so once you figured out like which pattern you want just you're good to go if you want a bathroom one a kitchen one you can even have your mat written your name yes and it's amazing especially for if you have some time at home like maybe you you on maternity leave and you want something to do you can adopt this process of making your hand woven carpet and you will love it so we're gonna do this this circle for you you can see how it comes out look at this look at this it's very very soft and when you step on it you your feet goes under and it's so beautiful i love the way it feels so amazing the feel is just amazing so actually you can make your your rug from scratch and it's gonna turn out so beautiful look at this you go under like that there you hook those under you put this in between and you just pull very very simple
guys actually i love making carpets handwoven carpets because actually they're therapeutic for for people if you want to have something like a hobby to do or you know it's good for people out there who are maybe struggling of they don't know what to do on their free time so it's really nice and it's amazing because you create any pattern that you want and it's so easy what that's why i love it it's so easy even you can teach your kids you can teach women in a women group and they really appreciate because as you can see the pattern i've made like this one it's so easy you can see the way it looks at the back the right the circle it looks amazing so i hope you've enjoyed my episode yes and if you want to see how to do i did the binding go to Kara youtube channel you see that episode on how to finish your carpet you can wear carpets you're gonna see that so we're gonna do a round so that you can see what happens next around it you can see you can come and see this is how it looks you can see amazing very easy for that amazing and this is the part we've done of the flower it looks like this at the back you can see where it looks i love the way it comes together so this is the finishing you can be able to see what i did in the other episode i've done part two on how to finish your hand over carpet but this the way it looks it feels amazing look at this and it looks amazing you can make any pattern you want and it's so comfortable for your kids because it doesn't layer flare out it's just so comfortable and so so soft you will love this amazing amazing one and it's so so easy so don't say you don't have one do it yourself this is a very very simple diy for you to practice at home it is so perfect so satisfying if you want to see this and more go to my youtube channel current blur youtube channel subscribe give me that like share this video i'll appreciate it so guys i hope you enjoyed this episode that's it for me bye